Hey adventurers, well uh, I'm just doing a bit of patching on um, slightly deflating mattresses. Uh, I gotta wash this poor thing uh, and looking at how to carry uh, enough water and fuel to cross the Simpson Desert in, uh, in August. And this weekend coming we're doing a bit of a trial run at uh, Little Desert, uh, fully loaded with everything, make sure we're still capable the sand but uh, today I'm uh, I'm going to do something with this and this it's an experiment we'll see how it goes ah, so what I have here is a set of uh, cheapy noise cancelling headphones they are the uh, Aldi brand Braun born um, the you know, 30 bucks and these ones are busted uh, the actually I broke this uh, fiddling with them but the um, the mount here probably needs got a s dry soldering joint the uh, you know the headphone jack so you, you get one ear working and you have to wiggle this and and it works again the noise cancelling headphones now I am one of these people that really don't like wearing earplugs they give me headaches so um, wind noise is a bit of a pain for me so what I'm thinking is I wonder if I can pull these apart and get uh, the noise cancelling headphone part in here um, and before you go oh, you shouldn't have noise cancelling in your in your motorcycle you know you need to be able to hear the traffic or whatever well noise cancelling headphones don't block noise uh, what they do is cut out constant drone sounds like wind noise. So when you're in an aeroplane, the uh, engine noise, uh, that part gets cut out. And er someone talking to you, you can hear fine. So in the traffic, they're not going to be uh, a problem. So let's pull these things apart um, and uh, find out what's in them. Um, obviously it's in this part. This is just the ear cup, um, which just uh, rotates off. Some little clips there, so we'll put that one there, and this one over here. And uh, carefully, I've got to not make sure I don't break any wires. Now, there is a wire that runs around from earphone to earphone. That obviously can sit you know, inside the helmet, so that's fine. Uh, the question is, you know, the, 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 this is too thick. I'm wondering, you know, can I get this, you know, how, how thin can I get this to fit in behind the padding on the headphones? Okay. Okay, well there's, whoa, we haven't got very long wires. So there's the speaker. Uh, so I guess I could, could I get the speaker out of, well there's two wires here. Uh, in fact, uh, what we have is, um, so this is the speaker. This is the speaker, obviously, uh, and there's two wires coming off it. Uh, this obviously is a speaker wise. It's got L minus L plus. This one says mic, mic positive and negative. So uh, obviously the microphone is jammed in there right next to the speaker, which makes sense. So noise cancelling headphones collect the noise uh, and then try and make an opposite wave to it. Um, so this is. This is looking okay. Speaker, little circuit board here, and then uh, these wires go to the battery, which is obviously under under this cover. How do we get that out? Are they clips? Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so this oh, this will be the uh, wires that go over to the opposite opposite earpiece. That's a lot. That's a lot of wires. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and that's the headphone jack which I think I need to just re-solder or replace uh, because yeah no, I can see the cold joint. Ha! Huh. Okay, well I can fix that easy. So if you want to know what a cold solder joint looks like. Um, so if it'll focus. Oh, try and get my hands out of the way. Um, watch, uh, watch this one, this one here. So when I wiggle it, you see that 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 moves in the solder joint yeah you can see that um, so that is a broken solder joint so I can re-solder that and this earpiece this plug should be good again hopefully so that's all right Whee, there you go ah and there's our battery 550 milliamp hour um, lithium ion battery 3.7 volts so they're actually um, very easy to re replace if you do have batteries that no longer want to charge or anything you can um, you can buy these off eBay for next to nothing so, okay so that's good so we've got the wire okay how do we get the wire out well, I'm going to have to cut this plastic to get this wire out unless I unsolder it from the board, which I really don't want to do. Because this is definitely not going back together now. <laughs> A little pin here that slides out. This all comes apart. Whoa! Um, okay, so we've got the same speaker, same two wire set up, but we've got a huge circuit board. That's as big as the earpiece. So this side we've got this little circuit board, but this side we've got a bloody computer. Um, okay, well we'll get this out. Okay, well of course this side, this side's got the switch, the on-off switch, and the charging port on this side. So this side just had the headphone jack. Uh, how do I get this out? Oh, and then there's just the wire. So, okay. Um, so, okay, I'm going to um, cut cut the plastic so that I can get these wires out without unsoldering anything and uh, then we'll think about what we've got. So while I'm doing this, do, does someone, um, does anyone actually make a set of noise cancelling headphone earpieces for motorcycles? I mean, if they do, I'm quite positive that they're not going to be 30 bucks like this one is. That's all the Aldi ones are worth, I'm sure even that's 30 Australian dollars, I don't know what they're worth overseas probably a lot less hmm, okay thinking, thinking now this, this headphone jack, I still want this because this is going to run from, from here to the, uh, oh, it's not on this part, it's on this part, the uh, X auxiliary, oh, that's an auxiliary in, isn't it? Not an auxiliary out. No, here, on this side, uh, it's got a headphone, headphones uh, out, plug here, so you can have external headphones. Uh, so, the headphone uh, headphone jack out of the 20s into the noise cancelling headphones. I can turn this on. And I certainly did hear them. Hear that? Uh, 
Hang on, I need to play some music on my uh, phone. Okay, so that's playing. It's not playing it. It was it was working. It doesn't play obviously when I'm press when I'm recording. So uh, anyway, um, so that's that works because I want to glue these two together. The the wires are too short to sort of you know have them completely separated in the helmet, and I, I know that I've got more than that much room because the existing uh, speakers in the helmet from the Cena are packed out by more than that amount so as you can see in here um, you can see the thickness that we've got to play with this is to get this just close enough to my ear so I can hear it so uh, I've actually got that much room um, this is up against the hard shell uh, and then the foam padding goes sort of around that makes up that thickness so I think with these these things in there it's not going to I guess that you know that is a concern whether that's uh, you know an object on the inside of the helmet next to your head, but you know I, I don't see it actually being any worse than the speakers that are already in there. Um, yeah, I'm not really I'm not concerned about that. Well, we won't have these speakers. Uh, I don't need these speakers anymore, so I will unplug them. Hey, you know when you go to Ikea and that, and you uh, keep getting, uh, you get uh, an Allen key with <laughs> every purchase? Yeah, don't throw them out. They're always handy. I think really, that's all I want. A tiny little dob, and then I want to squish that onto there. So clearly uh, this setup's not going to be, you know, completely waterproof. If I ever dump my head in the uh, river, I'll probably kill this system. But, um, well, hopefully editing can make this uh, a bit more streamlined because I'm spending minutes at a time just staring at stuff, not sure not exactly knowing what to do. Okay. Decide just not hot glue to not glue gun off. So I just velcro everything together that way it is uh, adjustable. Except I want to solder that cold joint first, don't I? Oh! Okay, hopefully that's fixed. Um, so the reason I can use just just felt uh, on a lot of this stuff is because this helmet, the uh, Nishua Carbon Enduro, has Velcro um, as part of the main structure, so you can stick anything on there, which is uh, extremely handy. Okay, so I've got those ones there. The cord will lay across the top of the helmet. And then this speaker will sit in here somewhere. I don't like this uh, circuit board, it's way too big. Way too big for my liking. Um, where, can, where can it go, you know? Like it could sort of fit flush with the top, there is padding over it, but these little capacitors poking out and then I've got to be able to get to this switch uh, okay this is where I'm gonna have them I'll lay the I shouldn't really say velcro should I because that's a brand name uh, hook and loop okay so one side in uh, this wire up over the Head here. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't quite work as planned. Um, but when I, uh, I I can't hear anything with the uh, I can't hear any sort of noise cancellation. But once I clip on these ear cups, um, then it works works perfect. It works as per normal. Um, so I can fit them in there, thankfully. Um, this 
pulls away um, and the foam at the top sort of gets bunched the padding at the top just gets bunched a little bit to push that into place but that actually seems to be pretty good for my ear position uh, on the other side so I'm going to get these uh, side uh, bits of foam back in. Uh, now the other problem I have is that the switch to turn on noise cancellation, which is click there, um, is that, that I can't get to that because um, obviously it slides in here and folds up. So I think I need to spin this around so that the switch is at the top, maybe even just poking out um, so if the helmet was sitting uh, normally, maybe it would be poking up here and I could flick it. So I'll try that and I'll put the foam back in and uh, see how it goes. Okay, well I had to extend it. Uh, I just couldn't get this thing to sit in here without um, being extended. So I extended the speaker wires and I just resoldered new wires onto the um, speakers. Sorry, microphone wires. And then at that end, <laughs> don't laugh at my shitty soldering job. I think I think they're all they I think they're all on there solid. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, well it's uh it's all in there. Got my auxiliary plug here into the Cena. Uh, it all goes in there. You can't see anything sort of around here, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the front edge of a circuit board here, uh, and I can turn that on and you can see a blue light comes on. Um, that's for the uh, uh, noise cancellation. Um, and it does seem to work when I'm just sitting here, so uh, how about I go for a ride and see what it uh, see what it's like. I've also got my two mics back in, so because I've got these uh, big earphones, um, I can quite comfortably fit in um, the microphone. So, in fact, you can see a little. You see the fabrics pushed out a little bit there. That's uh, that's the second mic. So, I'll uh, I'll play some music uh, and see if you can tell the difference. You probably can't because you'd be listening through two mics. Um, anyway, let's see how it goes. Well, I can still hear everything. It sounds like your ears are blocked. Like, well, that's exactly what earplugs do, you know. Uh, so I think uh, that is working a treat. And if I turn it back off again, <laughs> where's the switch? There. Yeah, back to. It's a little bit quieter than normal because I've got those ear cups on, I think. But the noise cancellation definitely makes a difference. <laughs> cool. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug your um, microphone mic so that you can only hear through the earpiece and then hopefully you'll hear the difference let's see okay I don't know if you can hear me okay I don't know if you can hear me but uh through the earpiece. Ah, I'll be able to get enough speed here. Okay, so that's normal. And that's uh, noise cancelled.
Courtney Love will come after me. Good man. It's flapping around my bloody collar. I think I'm gonna keep it for a while. And look, if it if it works, uh, if it works out, if it if it seems worth it, <laughs> I will. Uh, I might invest in a in a more expensive set of uh, noise cancelling headphones and then pull them apart. Uh, and then see how see how that goes but yeah just for those extended highway legs I think this could be uh, really good stay there please thank you and even when I turn my head the noise the wind noise doesn't uh, increase yeah, if I could if I could find a set of uh, noise cancelling headphones with a smaller internal circuit board, I don't know how I would know that before I uh, pull them apart. If anyone else has done this, uh, let me know. Uh, I'd be interested to see your results uh, and also what sort of headphones you used and what size circuit board was in it. So yeah, let me know. Thank you. Cheers.